Hello everyone. Our next lesson is all about job hazard analysis. We call it as the JHA steps. This is under our subject, occupational safety and health. For job hazard analysis, we have actually the following three items that we have to remember. First, we have to identify the basic steps of a job that are mean associated hazards. And finally, we have to make recommendations to control the hazards. In identifying the basic job steps, we have the following. First, watch carefully as a worker performs the entire job at least once. As the operator performs the job again, List the individual steps on the left-hand column. Second, using simple action phrases that are short and to the point, steps should be always numbered to indicate the order. Second one, we have the most common errors that we have to remember. Describe the job in too much detail or describing, describing the job in too little detail. For the third one, we have the solution. List as steps only those tasks that would be described to someone being trained to perform the job. Determine the hazards. Identify all of the existing or potential actions or conditions that could lead to an injury or, or illness or harm of the environment. Hazard guide, the physical actions required for the specific step, the material use, second one, the equipment use, and of course, the conditions under which the step is normally performed. For the physical actions, we have to consider the force or the weight. Frequency in terms of repetition, posture or prolonged, position in terms of distance. For the materials, we have the following. First, we have the chemicals. Second, the corrosive, volatile and flammable. Equipment, we have to consider the mechanical hazard and electrical hazard. And for item number six, we have to consider all these conditions that we have below. First, we have the noisy environment, temperatures extremes, vibration present, poor or high illumination, pressure in terms of atmos atmospheric force, then prolonged hours. What if questions? These are the questions that we have to remember. The what if. First, anticipates hazardous situations, abnormal operating conditions, incorrect or out of sequence, additional attachments, replacements, or we call them as the alternates, then consequences. Thank you very much and God bless us all.